I think like the sector is quite unique as well. And I think like Dan is probably quite similar in terms of like Alex as my like CEO. Like, I think it's just normal for Web3. It's very chilled out and it's not like very formal. You're not all like wearing suits. You can't post anything that's slightly controversial. And I think that's like a really attractive um, part of it to me as well. I've always been someone who likes to, likes to challenge kind of traditions uh, and go against like the normality, I guess, of stuff. Uh, is that kind of the same as you? Is that why you were like wanted to get into crypto? Is it more the tech and yeah? Yeah. So I, I would say like it, it wasn't on purpose, but it kind of lined up well. Like I kind mm -hmm. of as all, have always had like a distaste for authority. Like once you have bad, one bad experience yeah. where like you see someone who's in a position of power, like making decisions and you just mm -hmm. know like their thought process and it's not correct. You're like, there shouldn't just be trust there. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So I think the culture behind crypto is like awesome for that reason. Like it's literally built around like trust, but verify. Um, mm -hmm. And it's definitely more attractive than like the, like the trad five, put on your suit, like be in the office yeah. at seven o'clock and try to like be there before everyone. And like the formality like, mm -hmm. it's just, I don't know, it's kind of stuffy, right? Like, it's great. I'll just go to the office, like, in, like, this FTX shirt and, like, shorts. <laughs> and I show up in Dan's wearing, like, some, like, portfolio company merch. Like, it's, um, yeah. I don't know. I, I definitely think that it's attractive. I would say I got in it for the tech, but, like, the awesome culture around it is definitely, like, a pull. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, like, obviously, we move on to, like, about the market, but... If you just to like finish off our positions um, and like what we do, what would your advice be? And then maybe I'll give mine uh, to like someone trying to get into maybe an intern role or just web three in general. Obviously, you've moved on as like an intern into the more like venture stuff. Um, so again, maybe you have a perspective on how you'd get into that or like to work for CMS, for example. Yeah. Um... I mean, I would say there's kind of two things and they go hand in hand. Um, and I think a lot of people in crypto are good at it, but like understanding mm -hmm. like EV expected value um, mm -hmm. and like being able to make decisions on it. Like Sam Trabuco talks about it all the time. I think his brain is literally just like an EV calculator. Um, <laughs> but like, like, I think like what, what I said to Dan to get in initially mm -hmm. was basically just like, I will work for free. Like I understand the value of this experience. Um, and like, I, I think it would be awesome. Like the short term money is not really something you want to chase, right? Like you want to be in a good network, like doing job, a job that you like and being able to add value. Um, so like if, if I was someone trying to break in, like I would literally mm -hmm. follow the same playbook. I'd be like, this mm -hmm. is an awesome firm. Reach out to, like either the head of the company or someone that you might have a connection with and be like, I'm like, this is what I'm interested in. I'm going to do it for free for you guys. Like if you point the mm -hmm. finger and show me what you want work done on, like I'll just do it. Um, mm -hmm. And like, that's, it's hard to say no. Right. Like it's hard, it's hard to pitch like, Hey, can I have an, an internship or an entry level position? Mm -hmm. I want to make this much money. It's really easy to just say like, shoot me three things that, are interesting or could add value and then just like go grind it out like put in the hours mm -hmm. and send it back and like after a while um after a while they'll just be like this makes sense this kid is good he understands what he's mm -hmm. doing um like he's valuable now so like once you add value then you can kind of get compensated for it but i would definitely mm -hmm. say for foot in the door like offer up work for free like just try to get try to get in the door by thinking in their shoes, like the person you want to be hired by, be like, what's mm -hmm. the easiest possible thing that this person um, could accept and just say yes to. And then from there, you can mm -hmm. kind of work your way into whatever role. But yeah, I would say the work for free, intern for free, and just add value is like kind of a cheat code, honestly. Mm -hmm. I think I, I completely agree. And like, I was someone who was like very money driven um, and like always have been. And then once I like saw this role and saw the ability to kind of work in uh, Web3, I guess, uh, it kind of changed it a bit. So I, when you uh, have the decision to go and work in TradFi, for instance, like you can get paid a lot of money, of course, but then you sell like your soul away basically and work like 16 hours a day and it's horrible. 
Uh, if you then take a compromise and like, that's why, I, especially I was happy to go for like an intern role. I was like, I don't mind earning like less money um, to then get in like an entry into something that I really enjoy. Because essentially I was doing this for free anyway in like my personal life. So you actually kind of end up doing like an internship before doing your internship, <laughs> like <laughs> unpaid. Like I spent like a whole year, like really, really grinding uh, crypto and like building a, pers a profile uh, and like a personal brand is what I was going to say. Uh, so you kind of actually have to do, I can't see many ways where you get a job without doing some kind of like free work um, beforehand, especially like an entry level one anyway. Um, other things that I would say is I think just like hone in on like what your skill is. Don't try and be like master of everything. You can't be like GCR trading and then also be like some incredible social media person. I feel like it's just not possible. You need to specialize on what you're actually good at uh, and then try and focus on that and go for that. And don't apply to like every crypto job just because it's a crypto job. Like you're not going to get everything. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I'd just say work really hard towards like one specific role um and yeah don't be like pushed away because you're not getting paid much or whatever that's not not at all a big deal especially when you're quite young like in your 20s um 